Hi everybody, welcome to Kids Craft with Eaton Public Library. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a thaumatrope. A thaumatrope is a tool which makes use of persistence of vision to create a doubled image. So let's go ahead and get started. To make a basic thaumatrope, you're going to need a straw or stick, a pair of circles, and some glue dots. If you don't have your cardstock circles cut out, you'll also need a pair of scissors and a pencil and something to color them with when you're done. To make the more advanced thaumatrope, you're also going to need 20 or so inches of string. Start by cutting out your circles. Once you have your two circles cut out, you're going to decide what picture you want to put on them. In this case, I'm going to do something very simple. We're just going to write a word. A thaumatrope works by using persistence of vision to make it so that it looks like an image is there when it actually isn't. So I'm going to write the word high, but not put both letters on the same piece. After you've drawn your image, put the two circles on top of each other. Using a pencil or a pen, trace the outside of your image very, very firmly. You want the outline to be transferred to your second circle underneath. This is so that you can draw the other piece of your image on it without worrying about where it needs to be. As you can see, we have a very, very faint image transferred from my original. I'm now going to fill in the rest of my image. You can draw anything that you would like, so long as it has two pieces that you can separate. To complete your thaumatrope, take your stick, or in our case a straw, and affix the first piece of your thaumatrope to it. This may be best done by applying the glue to the center of your first circle. Once your first piece is attached, go ahead and attach your second piece on the other side. Once you have your second piece affixed, you note know that you can spin your two pieces and they line up such that the pieces, the H and the I, are in different spots in my case. Now, spin your thaumatrope between your fingers and the persistence of vision will make it look like you have one word. To make the second kind of thaumatrope, take a single circle and draw half of an image on one side. Once you have your image drawn on the first side, flip it over and draw your second image on the other side. If you are doing letters or something that needs to be right side up, 
make sure that you flip it upside down to make it work properly. Decide which way you want your letters to your your thaumaturp to spin, and punch two holes. On opposite sides of your paper. Try not to punch through your paper. Once you have your holes punched, take about 10 inches of thread and thread it through either side, tying it off at the ends to make a loop. Once you have your thaumatrope tied, spin it up either by coiling it carefully or by spinning it. You may or may not have enough weight to spin it. Once you have it wound and are ready, release it and you'll find your image revealed. Thaumatropes are related to the color wheels that we made previously because the same phenomenon is at work in both cases. The persistence of vision means that either you see the two images simultaneously or that you see the two colors simultaneously. And when you release them and spin them, you get the effect of the two combined images. In my case, a, uh, a pair of eyes and a nose on one side and a mouth on the other. Or my letters. So have, a fun, have fun with this. See what you can come up with. Just remember that any, any image you use needs to have um, half of it on one side and half of it on the other and that they need to be not overlaying each other. So go ahead and have a good time with this, see what you come up with, and let us know how it goes. For Eaton Public Library, this is Neil Schlein. Talk to you later.